Hey, don't you hate it when you plan on sanding to get that project ready for the next step and the sander breaks? Yeah, me too. So uh, just because something broke doesn't mean it's trash. So let's fix it and I uh, hope this video helps. Uh, if it does, give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, click that subscribe button and leave a comment. All right, so uh, let's take a look at the issue and get it fixed. All right, guys, so here's the orbital sander, the DeWalt DWE6423. So the sanding pad had worn out. I just see the screws are still in here. And it just won't stay on anymore. It got worn out here on the plastic. So all I'm going to do is replace this. Go on Amazon. I'll leave the link in the description of the replacement one. And so I'll go ahead and order that and get that put on. And this should be good as new. So yeah, unfortunate. A lot of sanding I've been doing. A lot of the vibration wore off this plastic here. Bad design. So all right. I'll be right back. So I went on the good old Amazon and purchased this sandy pad replacement. Right here we go. Uh, so it just came delivered. I'll leave an affiliate a link in the description. Also check out the other links down below. So of course if you have a different sander, make sure the sanding pad is compatible with it. So normally the hook, the hook part here is what wears out most of the time. That they grab the uh, sanding disc. See like that. Oh, this, one, this one's still good, but for my case, it was the screw holes that wore out the plastic, and then this just flew off and came off. So this is going to be a simple fix. Just make sure this cap is here, and use these screws that I have to take off of here. So let's open this up and put this on. All right. So let's take out my pocket knife. The grave D on it. Go. There we go. So this one has a little aluminum, I think aluminum or metal. So this should help keep the screws a little bit sturdier. See, it's the same size, same number of holes. All right. See, there's a little cap that's going to fit in here. All right, so let's unscrew these. Make sure the sander is unplugged. You don't want to accidentally turn it on while well, this is all open. Now, uh, this I need the star head. Right, so, I got the star head bit in. There we go. Star head's in. Quickly remove all these off. Right here. Okay. Since I have this open, I'm just dust it out a little bit. And right now, let's see. This should go. Cover this up right here. Just like that. holes lined up drop in the screws so there was no reason to throw this away it just needs a little replacement pad now if there's something wrong with the motor well, maybe if you can't fix it, you can't find a part for it. But this is simple to replace, and this should be as good as new. Let's get these tightened really good. There we have it. Sanding pad is replaced. So now you can put on your sanding disc. Hold 
holds it on real good. Let's give it a try. Plug it back in. perfect works just as new all right guys so i hope this video was useful and as always subscribe like share comment you know what to do and i'll catch you later